the most common root cause in males with insufficient fertility or infertility is metabolic syndrome. This is often not type 2 diabetes, but significant insulin resistance. They often also have low testosterone, and more often than not, there's also a partner component. That's why social health, family health is particularly important. They're often less fertile than they would be otherwise. And in these individuals, they're usually at, at more advanced ages, later 30s, early 40s, and sometimes for males, even in the 60s, I've seen them be less than optimally fertile. But the most common primary root cause is insulin resistance and metabolic syndrome. When we're evaluating a male in my practice for fertility, other than testosterone levels, we look at many different hormone levels. LH, FSH, that come from the brain, send signals to the testes. We also look at DHEA sulfate, a sex hormone binding globulin, IGF-1, which is a marker of growth hormone, prolactin, cortisol, CRP, which is an inflammatory marker, sometimes even things like 17 OHP, which is 17 hydroxyprogesterone, a measure of how much testosterone is actually getting into the testicle, although this number varies quite a bit. So you have to take it several times and get an average. In addition, we like to look at their sperm count, concentration, motility, and progressive motility.